Hey guys, I'm Orthodon, and we are back for My Hero Academia Season 4, Episode 19. <laughs> so, uh, this time, or last time, I mean, we had uh, the announcement of the school festival that's happening, which is going to be a lot of fun, I can't wait for. Uh, possibly doing some music stuff, which is cool, possibly some Jiro focus a little bit more, maybe. Um, we had a very cool conversation with Eri. That was very sad in a way, but also like really nice because Ari is most likely going to be coming to the the school festival and and having some fun. Hopefully, we get to see her smile and and eat some yummy food and stuff like that. So I'm I'm very much excited for that. And then we also have uh, this gentle criminal fellow who seems to be like a one off end of the season uh, villain. I think, um, I mean, he might not even be a villain, I don't know, you know, who knows with, uh, with what that video could mean. It seemed like the, uh, the police treated him like he was a villain, the way they were, like, you know, taking his videos down and stuff, but anyways, um, and, and plus he did a robbery, but, you know, it obviously could have been staged with actors and stuff, but who knows. Anyways, um, I don't know. But I really look forward to this. Um, I look forward to seeing more Gentle Criminal because he was a very interesting character. I want to see Ari having fun and all that stuff. And uh, I want to see some fun fun stuff with the with Class 1A doing music stuff. So, yeah, guys, let's, uh, let's just jump into it and see what happens this episode. Alrighty, full length. We're going to start the episode in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, now. Yep. Yeah! A little bit of recap, okay. Jiro! Yeah! <laughs> Aww. Yeah, Ari. Ah, oh, and the opening. That was a that was a cool little recap. I like that it it filled us in with pretty much everything that happened last episode, but didn't take too long doing it. So I I appreciate that show. You did good there. Do 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 <laughs> ah, brooding Todoroki and brooding Bakugo. Doo -doo. Ah, I'm so excited for the school festival. Man, I, I you know what I was just thinking about just now? I need to start looking at how many episodes are in this. It might be getting close to uh, when I gotta make a poll for this, for this slot until it comes back. The gentle criminal song. Interesting. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Huh, couple characters we've never seen before. <laughs> Is this La Brava?
<laughs> yes, that is right, hi, gentle criminal. <laughs> Her voice actor reminds me of Bisky from, uh, from Hunter Hunter. <laughs> Just re-uploading crap. Uh... <laughs> Him and his damn tea burning himself. I love these guys. Ah, <laughs> oh, they're they're calculated, they're not random. Ah. Oh. Oh no. Uh he's he's taking down bad companies. <laughs> the gentleman thief. <gasps> oh, how dare they? <sighs> Whoa, six years. Uh... <laughs> God damn it, La Barba, calm down. Ah. Whoa! Interesting. Whose quirk is that? His or hers? Or both? Do they have the same quirk? Oh no. Show us La Brava! <laughs> of course that would be in the comments. Ah, oh, he has a new plan. It will be better than ever. All right. That was a lot of information on the screen. <laughs> I think a lot of it we knew, though. What are you up to, Bakugo? That is a big guy. <laughs> what the heck? Hmm. So apparently the other classes aren't happy even though they're trying to do something for, for them. They still think they're thinking about themselves. Interesting. Hmm. I wonder what Bakugo's gonna say or do about that. <laughs> ah, EDM. <laughs> oh, Jiro.
<laughs> Is Bakugo gonna be drums? <laughs> yes! Yes, no, Bakugo on drums! Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> there he is, Mr. Talented! Damn. Wow. Hmm. In a way, Baku goes right, though. <laughs> yeah, there Bakugo. Wow, Bakugo. What a badass. Yeah, you got this, Jiro. Ah, they are going after the school festival. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is going to be interesting. All right. Ah. Momo going to be on piano. Yeah. All right, a synth. Nice. <laughs> we gotta put in some effects. <laughs> oh my god, that's great. <laughs> oh, Yama. Oh, yeah. Ah. Nice, everyone else is here. They're all fired up. <laughs> Unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. 
<laughs> I can be a disco ball and sing. Uh. <laughs> Isn't that a different genre? Oh my, oh my god. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> what the heck? Ah. You can do a zero. <gasps> <laughs> uh -huh. Their reactions are so good. <laughs> it's so grand. Ah, Jiro, so good. <laughs> My ears are so happy. <laughs> They're all, all the guys I wanted to sing are defeated. <laughs> Let's leave that aside. <laughs> of course the electric guy wants to be on guitar. Ugh. Oh no, Manetta. Because of my characters on my memory. <laughs> God bless you, show. Whoa. Oh, Tokoyami! I quit once with the F chord. <laughs> what? Ah. Then I will strum for you as well. <laughs> oh no, Veneta! <laughs> oh my god, this episode is over the top. Uh. 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 Oh, yes. Oh, might. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Mm. Make long distance attacks. <laughs> oh, what have you been thinking about all night? Hmm, interesting. Huh, we're gonna get a little bit of like quick Midoriya training here, huh? Maybe? Let's full cowling! <laughs> uh. Oh, I love that.
the wind effect too. It's like showing how much power he's expelling. Oh! The wind pressure! It's just like a Detroit smash or whatever it was. That sh All right. Oh, he's hurting. Ah. Yep. Cool, cool. I love this. Yep. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, interesting. Oh, <laughs> nice. Nice. <gasps> there he is here! Yeah! Oh, she's adorable. Ah, oh, that was such a good episode. Oh, I loved it. I loved it. That was. I love the fight episodes, right? But this episode was just fun. Like not not just awesome, not just like whatever, but like. Not like badass. It was just fun. I loved it. Oh my god. So good. Ah. Uh. Do 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 do. <laughs> oh, guys, this episode is so good. Like, I'm not sure how much I'm gonna have to talk about because, like, not a lot of it is left for like interpretation or anything. But the there was a lot of cool stuff in this episode. Do 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 All right. Oh, after credits. Gentle video. So so messy. Ah. Royal flush. What does it mean, gentle criminal? Oh. Oh no. 
please wait with caution. Oh no. All right. Okay. <laughs> That's that. Interesting. Alrighty, guys. So that is the end of episode 19. Good stuff, guys. Good, good stuff. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. Ah. Oh. All right. Um. So. Uh, I guess the first thing we'll talk about is Gentle Criminal, right? That's kind of the first thing that, that happened this episode. He, we basically learned a little bit more about his backstory a little bit. Like, it seems like he is committing crimes, but the crimes he's committing is against companies that have done wrong, which obviously it's still a crime to do that. It sort of reminds me of like a Robin Hood sort of thing where they're stealing from the rich and giving to the poor sort of thing, you know? Except, um, you know, these these companies are, are kind of doing bad things in a way and uh, just to cover their own butts and stuff like that. So he's he's targeting them. Also, he's been doing this for six years, but he's mostly been like under the radar, probably because the cops are taking him down every now and then. And people are just more interested in villains like All for One and Stain and the League of Villains and stuff like that. So he hasn't gotten as much attention as he has been hoping for, which he's hoping to change that with whatever plan he has for UA. You know, he thinks that with UA's heightened security breaking in and everything will get him the attention that he's hoping to earn. Because as we know, it's not about the thieves, like the thievery or you know, the the crimes he's committing, it seems more about him just wanting to become famous. So, but he's been doing this for six years, which is crazy. Um, I love the characters, La Brava and, and Gentle Criminal, their chemistry and, and everything is, is a lot of fun. It's going to be interesting since, since they're not like the hardcore criminal, like I want to kill people. It's going to be very interesting when they break into UA and they interact with the kids because it'll be interesting if either Gentle Criminal convinces the kids that he's doing good or the kids convince Gentle Criminal, like, not to be a criminal and just have fun or something, you know? It'll be kind of interesting if something like that happens where they where they become more, like, friends with each other or something. And, and I, think it, I think there's going to be a lot of humor in whatever comes out of Gentle Criminal and stuff, so... So that'd be pretty cool. Um, the next part of the episode was a lot of more planning with the music that they're going to be putting on. So they they kind of have Bakugo on the drums, which was really interesting. Um, which, I mean, it fits, right? Like, people on drums are very explosive. Sorry about the squeaky chair, by the way. I'm just trying to adjust myself. Um... But people, like, I've always, like, when I think of drums, I think of, like, explosive, right? They're very quick-moving and, and doing their thing and, and very, like, animated in their movements and stuff like that. And uh, thinking about, like, that explosive personality and having Bakugo do it, it just seems to fit perfectly. Like, when I saw that, I was just like, yes, Bakugo on drums! Um, it, it was really cool. And then also... You know, Bakugo overheard the the other classes talking, and it seems like the other classes are very much in that mindset of, you know, UA or not UA. Class One A is trying to do this, you know. In a way, they're doing it like I I see the point where, what they talked about was they want to do it to make the other classes have fun, do something for the other classes, right? But the other classes are still seeing it as them doing it for themselves because they have this goal of wanting to, like, make things right. You know, they they might think of it as, oh, they're just trying to soothe their own, uh, their own conscience by, conscience by doing this show and putting this on and thinking this is going to make everything better and, you know, making themselves feel better in the process. So the other classes seem to think, like, of it in a negative way. And Bakugo is like, you know, the way the way Bakugo said it, it seemed like he was kind of like, oh, okay, you know, if we're just being like nice, happy, go lucky here, they're not going to take it the right way. So we just need to give them a damn show. We need to, you know, in his words, we need to kill them with our sound, you know, and like, so we just need to blow them away. 
and then they'll love it, you know? And, and I love that, and I love how it inspired everybody else in the class, and it's like, Bakugo can sometimes come off as so brash and so, like, arrogant in a way, but really he does... He does care in his own way about, you know, the school and his classmates and even the other classes a little bit, too, you know? Um, it's cool how far he's come since the since the beginning of the show, for real. Um, but, but that, so that little segment of Bakugo was, was fantastic. I loved it. Um... And then moving on from that, we also had uh, Denki Kaminari on the electric guitar, which makes sense. He's the electric guy, you know? They're trying to find these fit roles. And I loved the fourth wall break of Mineta trying to use a guitar, but he can't. And he's just like, my character design won't allow for this. <laughs> oh, that was so damn funny. I loved it. Oh, my God. Um, I, I, I kind of can respect, like, a good fourth wall break like that every now and then. I think it's a lot of fun. I think that was, like, one of my favorite parts of watching Deadpool as a movie, was it was just funny when Deadpool would look at the camera and be like, you know, this shit's fucked up, you know? <laughs> like, he'd say something like that, or I don't know. Um, or, can you believe this? Or, you know, he, he'd just say something funny at the camera, and it'd be great. Um, oh, man. So many funny things this episode. Um, seeing all the kids try to sing, um, except for Jiro, and they were like, kinda eh, you know? Um, and then Jiro just knocking it out of the park was really cool. I I love that she is really good with her music, she's really good at singing, and, and she's like, being able to express herself more and come out of her own shell with, with her friends and everything. And more than, well, I guess she's done it before, that's the thing, is she's done it with her close group of friends. They keep talking about and referring back to how when they're in her room with just uh, Higakure, Invisible Girl, I think her name is. Um, and then Uraraka, apparently Jiro opens up a lot more and does the singing and does, you know, the music playing and everything. And I, I, I think it's really cool how now she's able to open up in front of her own classmates and everything, and I think that's that's just fantastic. And uh, it's great, just character development for her, and not even character development for us, it's more like her own character developing, which is really cool. Like, she herself is becoming more more comfortable and we're seeing that growth and it's 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 a lot of fun i'm i'm really liking it um but but yeah so then we had midoriya and uraka and sue and um not kaminari i always get them kirishima um coming in and uh they they finish up their classes so now they're able to commit more to to all this stuff which is pretty cool um i i loved the effects team they're gonna have todoroki making ice kirishima chipping away at the ice with his you know arms and uh with his hardened arms and everything and then friggin' having <laughs> having Aoyama as a damn disco ball and like spinning around to like distribute the ice or something everywhere or whatever. It's so like it's a cool use of their powers. When they mentioned effects, I, I instantly thought to myself, I was like, ooh, are they gonna use their quirks to do effects? That would be pretty cool. Um But uh and, and they are, so that's that's really cool. Uh hmm. What else? What else was there to that segment of the episode? I guess they, they they got everything planned out, so we might be moving into the festival next episode, which would be very, very cool. I'm looking forward to seeing how that all plays out now that they kind of have everything like organized and planned for the last couple episodes. Uh, I'm really interested to see what Gentle Criminal is going to do, too. Like, what's his goals? Like, his goal is to break in and make a name for himself, but what is he going to do once he breaks in? That's what I really want to know, because I feel like he's not the kind of person to just go and, like, hurt people, you know? So, like, what is he going to do once he's inside? Uh, he seems to have some... Either him or La Brava, I'm guessing it's him, with the quirk that allowed them to jump up to that building. They turned the floor into, like, a trampoline. Uh, so his quirk might be very, like... A chaotic, fun, like, 
doesn't damage things but causes people to like panic panic a little bit but i think it could be a very fun quirk for him to kind of draw attention to himself without actually you know hurting people because at least the way it seems like gentle criminal is is that he's committing crimes for a good reason so i can't imagine he'd be willing to just hurt these kids in ua you know i could be wrong we don't know all that much about him yet, so he very much could hurt the kids, but I could definitely see him using his quirk as, like, a, a crowd control, kind of, like, goofy funhouse, like, you know, we get, we have the music for him, and it's very, like, circusy kind of sounding, and I could see it being, like, almost like a circus act with him coming in, so. Um, it would also be kind of funny if he... Uh, if Gentle Criminal, he, I, just, I just thought of this just now, if he comes in and attacks with the, like, during the performance that 1A is putting on, and he actually uses his quirk to make them all, like, bounce around and stuff, it actually ends up making the effects, like, better. Like, if Class 1A, like, improvises with what's going on, and they just, like, he's coming in to do, like, this evil stuff, but he ends up just making, like, an awesome performance, you know? That'd be kind of funny, but... Oh, man. And then, like, the the last, like, one-fourth of the episode was was Midoriya training with All Might, which is really cool because we had... Um, I thought about this while it was going on. All Might kind of dedicated himself to raising and training Midoriya, but he hasn't done too much. He's given a few hints. He's been like, you know, you're thinking too much like me. He's done a few things like that. But I feel like he hasn't done much, like, one-on-one -on -one to really help Midori and really be that, like, father figure almost that he, he promised he would be. And that's really cool that they ended up doing a little bit of that this episode, even though it felt a little out of place and a little sudden that it, like, you know, suddenly just did this. But, um... I'm absolutely love that they did it because, you know, I didn't really think much of what the next stage was because they kind of just thrust upon us, like, Midoriya using 20% of his body or his power, but it making his body creak and stuff like that. He, we kind of just had that thrown at us, and then he did it for a tiny bit and then ended up getting airy and using 100%. So I never really thought about what would come next for him. I was always like, okay, we're going to have to see him use 20% more and have it become more comfortable for him, right? So I assumed we weren't going to get any more evolution of his power yet, but it seems like we are, and he's what he's doing is he's full cowling his, you know, 8% all the time, and then he's directing the 20% to just, like, one, one part of his body, which is kind of cool, kind of like what he did originally where he'd throw a 100% punch when he really needed to except now he has the 8% going all the time so he can be like quick he can react quickly he can do all the stuff he did with 8% but then he can enable the 20% just in one section rather than making his whole body like hurt and slow him down and stuff like that so that's that's really cool I love how they went over everything that we've had all like the evolutions of his power throughout this whole season and kind of slap it into a new form of using his uh, full cowling. And uh, I think that's just that's just really cool. I love the way they, they did that scene and stuff like that. And just seeing a little bit more of All Might being, playing a little bit more of an active role in Midoriya's life and everything, like I said, was just really cool. But, but yeah, I mean... I, I really love this episode. It was so much fun, uh, and I'm really looking forward to this festival that's being put on, but I think that's pretty much everything I gotta say about this one, guys. Um, yeah. Uh, thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button. If you're enjoying the content, I very much appreciate it if you do. Go ahead and check out the description for my Patreon, where you can get full-length episodes and early access for my other episodes. Not for this one, because I watch this as it releases, so there's no early access for this. Um, but, but yeah, guys, thank you. Thank you for watching. And I will see you guys next week for another episode or later on in some of my other videos. If you watch those as well. Alrighty guys. Bye-bye.